System 11 MPU board, 11A, sorry, MPU board. And it had one problem when it came in. Uh, customers shipped it without any ROMs or the processors, so I assume he's got a rotten dog or something like that in there. Problem was a special solenoid uh, Q79 here had roasted quite a bit, and you can see from the pictures that I rolled in here that it had toasted the PCB board. Now, what you see there is not attached except for the left leg of this TIP-102. The carbonized PCB board becomes conductive, so you got to take away enough material to eliminate any conductivity between any of the legs of the transistor. So uh, you can see in the pictures I rolled in at the start that I had to cut away part of this PCB. Now, I could have filled that with epoxy and uh, and made it look a little bit better, but it really wasn't worth the trip. So uh, it does work 100% also. The uh, issue backfed all the way up to the 7402, which was failed also, so I've replaced it. And there was quite a bit of burning, as you can see from the pictures, uh, all the way up from this transistor. And uh, it had scorched a bunch of parts up there. They were probably still okay. Maybe still okay. Anyway, I replaced them anyway, so we're good to go. I have high-speed ROMs in here, so the boot LEDs won't uh, look right because high-speed expects a seven-segment display. But we are all booted up, and the lamp matrix is doing its thing. The only coil that's on right now is the coin lockout coil. Put it in test. I'm going to skip that test. Display test works fine. Uh, actually, this is not a high-speed display, so it's going to look a little squirrely. But it does work fine. My uh, lamp tester I got from... Uh, my friend up at Siegecraft. Everything's working fine there. Single lamp, I'm gonna skip that. Coil test. This is where we really needed to pay attention. Five, six, seven. It goes through each of the first 16 and then uh, the special solenoids are down here where my thumb is. And this last one here the last special solenoid, that one, was the one that wasn't working, and now it is. So I am going to take a ground wire and rake it across the special solenoid inputs, and you'll see all six of those operate. And this is what I did. So, moving on, switch test, we can do that. There's no reported problems, but I'm going to use my Pinitech switch test tester, which is a little modified from when I got it. And that was all of column one. Now I'm going to go across row one, and it's showing like 2, 5, 49, high speed at the last switch is switch 52, so we can go down to switch 52. And everything's working just fine there. That is the end of everything. So let's go back through audits and adjustments. And the MPU will reboot. And we're good to go. Thanks so much for sending it. Let's get it back down to Florida.